natural hair care, start to finish wig installation, and trendy acrylic nails. Hey y'all, it's all of destiny. While I have you for the next 21 minutes, this will be my self-care at home maintenance week. I just about to break my hair down, but look at this. I gotta wash it first. Stay tuned, I'm filming a maintenance routine video. I'm gonna start off just by rinsing my hair with warm water just to remove a lot of the products that I've been applying throughout the week. So as recommended, I'll first be using my dermatologist prescribed shampoo. If you watch my dermatologist vlogs when I take you all with me to my appointments, then you're aware that I have psoriasis of the scalp. After letting that sit for the recommended five minutes, I'm going to rinse it out. So I was recently sent some new hair care products. These are from Lux Locks Curls. I'll link their Instagram and website below. It smells like shea butter, cocoa butter or something. I used too much. I didn't know it was going to lather up this much. This is a black owned company. They sell handcrafted natural hair care products, which I will be trying out a few of them for the first time today and give you all my first impression. These products smell amazing and they left my hair feeling so soft and moisturized. So for deep conditioning, I'll be taking the Lux Locks Blueberry Cream Pie Deep Conditioner and I'm just going to section my hair in about four sections and apply this deep conditioner all over, gently detangle my hair and then for deep conditioning, I'm going to use a plastic cap and sit underneath my hooded dryer for about 20 minutes. And I know you may say, why is she doing all of this if she's going to install a wig? But what good is a laid and slayed wig if you're not taking care of your own hair underneath? A book that a friend recommended that I've been loving lately is Black Privilege by Charlemagne the God. If you saw my Chit Chat Get Ready With Me video recently about living your truth, I definitely recommend you all to get this book. I'm not like completed with it yet or anything, but I'm loving it so far. My hair feels so soft. Wow. And it still smells so good. Hold on, wait, is it recording? My hair felt soft, very moisturized. Look at the shine. I'm not using like a ring light or anything. This is just natural lighting. My hair is clean, but not stripped of moisture at all. So since my hair is low porosity, what I like to do is apply my leave-in products immediately after rinsing out my conditioner. Sometimes you all see when I apply products and they're sitting on top of my hair strands and they're very white. I notice that my hair soaks the products in immediately if I go straight in with my leave-ins. So I'm just working this product into my hair before I proceed with my styling process. And this one smells just like pina coladas. Like all of these products smell amazing for the hair. And they're very affordable as well. So I'm just gonna take my little hair towel. I got this from Amazon. A lot of the items y'all are gonna see in today's video I got from Amazon. Oh wow, <laughs> I do not wanna cover this up. I was chatting on Instagram live with you all while I was doing my hair. Some of you all told me that y'all do flat twists underneath your wig and styles. I normally do braids or a low ponytail, but I decided to give the flat twist a try. Routine and making mine. Yes, sir. That's how you do it, D-Side. The maintenance videos do numbers. That's currently why I'm filming another one. <laughs> I gotta do a wig review, y'all. I'ma um, see what the twist look like after I'm done wearing the wig for the video. I'm taking the Lux Curls Curl Defining Cream in sections all over my hair before twisting it down. Special thank you to Lux Curls for gifting me these hair products to try out on my channel. The results of my first impression, I love these products a lot because they left my hair feeling soft, moisturized, and smelling good. I got one random braid right here, but we're gonna ignore that. And this is my subscriber's oil shooks. I done picked it up so many times, I rubbed the label off. But I'm just gonna put this on here. I'm gonna let my hair dry so that I don't get all of this in the lace. Um, I'm gonna prep the wig and stuff tonight. On y'all's end, it's all gonna flow together though. This is my first time doing this. I can't wait to see how it turns out. So it's the next morning. I just put a scarf on my hair overnight. This video is sponsored by Wild African. If you're not new to my channel, then you already know the vibes. I love working with Wild African. So included, I have hair care tips brochure or booklet a wig cap and of course the wig so the details on this wig will be listed down below we have the comb in the back along with the adjustable straps the adjustable removable elastic band as well we have clean bleached knots undetectable hd lace the 13 by 6 deep parting space
this will be my motto for the day i'm gonna ask that you all be very respectful don't disrespect her in the comments she's been through a few things but i'm gonna give her a quick little makeover to make her feel better so I find that I'm able to style my wigs better if I do a lot of my prep work on the mannequin versus on myself. So the hairline looked pretty good, but I want to do a little bit more because why not? So I'm going to take my new tweezers from the beauty supply store and just kind of pluck behind the hairline. As long as you're skipping around, you kind of cannot mess this up. I make another part and then I pluck some more because the point is to kind of get a faded type of hairline, if you will, um, instead of just like super thick in the front comb through to get out the hair that you removed although that looks like a lot trust me it's not if you keep up with my weekly vlogs you may have seen where i received this new simply styling light silk spray in one of my subscriber unboxing videos so i'm just going to use this to curl the hair i like to kind of be mindful of the wefts when i'm curling that way my curls really have a good definition you don't have to go weft by weft kind of like medium sized sections i'm using my new me flat iron just to give some curls to the hair i am using it on 450 because why not and then after that to really lock the curl in i like to use a flexi rod you can use a hairpin something to just hold the curls in place if you want your curls to last you always want to kind of pin them up in some sort of way while they're cooling if you run your hands through hot curls then you haven't allowed them to hold a shape just yet so i like to pin them up And then I'm going to use my press and comb from the beauty supply store just to make sure the front portion is really flat. And for a little bit of a feather in the front, I'm going to use an eyebrow razor just to kind of trim at that and then curl those last few pieces. If you find when styling your wigs that you have a little bit of trouble working with the wig while it's on your head, I definitely recommend pre-styling the wig on your mannequin stand. I'm going to take the Nairobi foam lotion just to do a little more pre-styling and just lay the front down a little more, section out a few pieces for the baby hair later on, and I let this sit for a few days, uh, not for any specific reason except for me just kind of, I was like, eh, <laughs> not today, maybe tomorrow. Y'all know I'm a procrastinator. So I was going to use the brow razor to kind of remove the excess from the stocking cap, but it was not working out for me. I'm always paranoid using a razor near my forehead, so I just go for what I know, the scissors. Then I'm going to take a pressed powder, which one you have closest to your skin tone will work perfect for that I do want to go ahead and kind of lay this one down y'all know I like to do glueless methods a lot of times but I felt a little different I was like let's you know let's let's lay her let's let's make it do what it does okay so I'm taking the got to be free spray as well as the got to be glued gel so these are not glues I want to just clarify that this is a gel, it's not a glue, and they just call it got to be glue but because it's a pretty decent strong hold of a gel, perfect for laying down your lace frontals. So I'm just going to use in combination the gel as well as the holding spray or the freeze spray. Then I'm going to use my Red by Kiss blow dryer on the cool setting just to kind of get that a little bit tacky. If you apply lashes, then you know how you like wait for the glue to kind of set a little bit. That's what you want to do with this gel. So since I cut the lace into those little sections, I can work with this in parts instead of trying to apply the entire thing at one time. So I'm pulling the lace in front of where I've applied the gel. I'm using the comb to kind of comb the lace into the gel but it's also pushing the hair back so that the hair isn't just getting stuck because you just want the lace laid not the hair flat to your head and then i'm picking the blow dryer up using that on the cool setting just to kind of go ahead and get it to dry a little bit faster and the reason i kind of was squinting my face like that is so that my temples um it's not like too tight to where the wig is laid but it's not like pulling on my forehead if that makes sense if you wear wigs you know what i mean so once everything is like laid down and dry i'm going to remove that excess lace just enough of it for the time being just to get it out of my way cutting around the ear to remove that excess and then any areas that aren't laid down i can still spray that with some more of the got to be free spray getting as close as i can removing all of that excess lace So now I'm going to resection out the baby hair since I had pushed it back to get it out of my way. And I went ahead and tied my hair down using a hair scarf. This is from Better Length. They may have it on their website, betterlength.com. I know a few magic tricks to speed through things. So why not save some time? 
I gotta get a little bit better. Sometimes I make a few mistakes. Uh, 21 Heat Protecting and Shine Spray as well as my Pink Sugar Hair Perfume because why not? I want my hair to smell good. And I'm just going to run my hands through my curls. Since I've killed a little more time doing other things, the lace is even more laid at this point and now we're going to begin the styling process. When I tie down the hair, basically it helps everything to get even more flat, right? But we want the lace melted within the skin, but not the hair. So I just take a comb and kind of comb through the hair to lift it back up. But that's not going to lift up the lace since we've given it time to set. I'm taking some more of the foaming lotion, using that to further lay the baby hair. And I'm only doing a few, just not, like, I don't want to do too many baby hair. Um, I think I did maybe two on the left and two on the right, or probably three on the left, three on the right. Just a little bit. This is our preference, personality, whatever you would uh, choose to do. So to blend everything even further, I'm going to take that same pressed powder and tap that just over the front portion of the hairline to make it even more blended. We know it's a wig, but we also know that we want it to look as natural and as laid as possible. So it's been a minute since I've worn a half up, half down. Somebody DM me recently was like, can you do another half up, half down? Um, and I think I told y'all, yes, whoever asked me that. <laughs> so I was like, let me just see. I haven't worn a half up, half down since my birthday. Taking some more of that foaming lotion. I tilt my head back to avoid a lump in the top. And I'm just going to secure that off with a scrunchie and brush that through to make sure my ponytail is cute. There you have it. A messy little half up, half down. I love styles like this. Once you seal your wig down, you can do really anything that you would want. So I'm going to use my press and comb to make sure that I'm getting my hair even more flat and laid in the front. Taking some more of that foam and lotion. This will help me to kind of wet the hair in that area so that I can define the part even further. Wow, this is a vibe. Oh my goodness, wow, African. <laughs> now y'all see why I love working with Well African. So you can see the parting before, but I want to bring it out even more. I want to take my concealer that I use when doing my makeup. This is the e.l.f. concealer in a wet and wild brush and just define that parting space even more. This looks so good. Oh my goodness. I kind of showed out with this one. That's not even me bragging on myself, but I did. But while African is having their spring sale from March the 12th to March the 25th, so if you've been interested in wanting to get new hair, I definitely recommend Wild African. They have very good quality hair. Obviously, that's why I continue working with them over and over. <laughs> A special thank you to Wild African for sponsoring this video. All of the links and details about the sale and this wig will be in my description box below. A lot to look at a lot. Comment down below, let me know what you all think. So I'm filming this at like the end of the night. It was like way earlier in the day. So if y'all wonder how my makeup wears, nah, don't go by there. Today was like super, 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 super busy. We got our natural hair taken care of. I got my cute new install. Okay, we done. When you get sick of the half up, half down, then you just, you know, let your hair back down. I kind of kept my part. I love this hair. Pretty sure Voice Over Destiny covered all of that. I'm glad I decided to do, like, actually laying it down versus kind of taking it off because I'll at least have it on for a few days and then we'll see what this twist out underneath looks like, but that'll be separate. So now it's time for some trendy acrylic nails. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that my hard drive crashed on me. But luckily enough, I still managed to recover some of these files from my SD card. I recently ordered some new cover acrylic powders from Amazon. These are the Mia Secret ones. I got Cover Beige, Cover Nude Blush, Cover Pink, and Cover Rose. I'm going to use the Cover Pink today in combination with, I thought I was going to use those flakes. We're not going to use those. But I'm going to use my Mia Secret Liquid Monomer along with my Panna Kalinske brush number eight. And I'm gonna drop in about five drops of this um, Apple Fresh. It just kind of masks the smell of the acrylic just a little bit. You'll still smell it, but it tones it down just a tad bit. So I'm gonna apply my Mia Secret Dehydrator as well as the primer. This will help my nails to last and help the acrylic to adhere. So let's go ahead and open up the pink, the cover pink powder. I'm just gonna mix that up a bit. And this is just a gold glitter. I'll be sculpting my nails using forms today, so I'm gonna apply that round sticker on the back, kind of wiggle it around to help it to shape underneath my nail. And since I'm saying that these are trendy nails, if you look at any nail photos on Instagram, this is the shape, the design, the style, the aesthetic of the color that has been trending for a while. 
If you're not new to my channel as far as my nail videos go, then y'all know the way that I normally do my nails. I kind of just do what I want and I never really pay attention to what is trending, but I was like, Destiny, try the trends. Can we get with it just for a second? Let's try a trending nail set. So this is what that's gonna be. So it's kind of like marble, right? But it's with acrylic. So I'm picking up the various colors and I'm just sitting them all down on the nail. I use the tip of the brush to kind of swirl a little bit and then I'm using the belly and the sides of the brush just to squeeze that towards the center, if you will, for the pointed sort of almond type of shape that I'm going for. And I'm keeping them a little bit shorter than what I normally do as well because that is kind of like the trend lately. I kind of turn my hand towards myself a lot just to make sure I'm getting the shape the way that I want it. And then I'm just randomly picking up the different colors. I'm dipping into the brown, the glitter, just doing it very randomly. Once I'm done with the shape of everything that I want to cover all of the design, I'm going to pick up the clear acrylic powder. This one is by Mia Secret as well. And I'm just going to basically encapsulate or cover the entire nail. This will also give us a little more strength so that our nails last and they will not break. So I'm going to repeat that same process. I'm picking up the Mia Secret Cover Pink, picking up the gold glitter, and this brown that I'm using. Um, that's why I say when you invest in your own products and do your own nails, these products last a very long time. I'm not sure about expiration dates and all of that. I should probably check. But the brown that I'm using, actually, I purchased probably like seven, I want to say maybe six or seven years ago. It's for like doing 3D nail art. But since I'm not using so much of it, um, it won't run out too fast. I think I got that from eBay, but I'll find like some colored acrylic and everything and link all of the items for you all down below. I like the Mia Secret products a lot. I'm the type of person when I find something I like, regardless of me having a YouTube channel or not, I just like to use what I know works, you know? Why not? So I'm just gonna keep repeating that same process. They're kind of gonna just spread on their own anyway. So I'm just letting them do what they will, but I'm just watching the shape to make sure that it's staying in that almond type of shape that I want. Cleaning up the sides and then I'm getting as close as I can to the cuticle, but not applying the acrylic onto my cuticle area because it will cause lifting. See a little more of that gold glitter on top. I want to cover the entire nail in the clear acrylic powder. So if you want to know more about the Mia Secret products, this portion isn't sponsored by Mia Secret or anything, but I did purchase the uh, Mia Secret Clear Acrylic Powder Kit from Amazon. It's only like 20 bucks, and I did like a review video on that. So if you want to get into doing nails, maybe give that kit a try. It's only $20. So once I went ahead and finished my nails, the next step is, for me, considered the boring part. It's just the fouling and the buffing. I start off with my 100-180 grit hand foul, and then I'll gravitate towards using my nail drill this nail drill was gifted to me by a company called whirly um but i don't have any links or anything i can't find it i don't know <laughs> i say that in every nail video but i like the drill so i just keep using it but the drill bits are uh mccart everything gonna be linked y'all know i got y'all they are affiliate links so try to catch on to the brands if you don't want to use the links cleaning up the cuticle area, perfecting the shape, and then I always go back in with my hand foul, wash my hands, and now it's time for my favorite part, designing the nails. Starting off with the Nail Addict Gel Base Coat, I'm going to cure that in my UV lamp for two minutes. Then I'm going to take this white gel polish from Madam Glam. Someone sent me these brushes, but they didn't send anything except the brushes, so I have no idea about the info on these. I always just link similar things for things that I can't find directly. So the lines is what people do on the nails now. Like I wanted to try to give that a try, but I kinda, I don't know, for some reason I wasn't feeling it. Now that I'm looking at it, it was kinda cute. But I just took it off using some alcohol. Since it's gel, it just comes right off if it hasn't been cured underneath the lamp. And I'm just gonna use my dotting tool and just do dots instead. So I still think I'm within the trend, I guess. <laughs> I 
after I cured that for two more minutes underneath the lamp, I'm gonna use the Nail Attic No Wipe Top Coat. I'm going to cure that again for two minutes. I'm going to apply my Beauty Secrets cuticle oil all over my nails, add some rings. These are from like the beauty supply store, Sears, JCPenney, cause y'all always ask me where they're from. And look at these nails, girl, yes, oh yes. Oh, she did that, mm. She did that, listen to my nails. Clickety clack, what Nails by Shauna be saying? Clickety clack, the clouds is back. <laughs> Follow Nails by Shauna on Instagram. Her nail game is strong, do you hear me? Also, in real time, this set took me about two and a half hours. I got my cute new install, got my nails looking oh so luscious and oh so good. Everything will be linked in my description box down below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy maintenance videos like these. That way I'll know to do more videos like this for you all. My battery is blanking, I'm babbling on and on and on about nothing. If you enjoyed this video just that much, be sure to share it with a friend who you think would enjoy it as well. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel a lot of y'all be telling me like she should have so many more subscribers than this da 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 so make sure you subscribe okay and share these videos with your friend okay don't be looking cute and have your friend not knowing about the fact that this channel exists love i'm feeling myself y'all i gotta take at least two instagram pictures i'm very tired it's 10 p.m by my fast clock i'm looking like a baddie and if i wash this off without getting one picture and I'm going on and on again. If you want to watch some more maintenance videos, go ahead and click right over here. I got a few of them, but I'm about to have in lots of them. On my channel, they'll be different every time. Just depends on what needs to be done during that specific week. Okay, bye. Goodbye. I will talk to you all in my next upload. Bye. Did I get enough posy shots? <laughs>